little update on the tractor steers. Um, it's not um, exactly what I wanted, but it uh, steers. So um, there's lots of room for improvement, but I'm going to keep. Basically, we're going to keep this for now, and maybe at a later date we'll have to go to the hydraulic system. So um, probably just. Uh, well, we'll see what's going to happen, but uh, we'll probably do a hydraulic um, steering valve on here. Similar to what's used on similar to what's used on Massey Ferguson tractors and probably other stuff. So uh, we'll see, or even a steering box. Uh, probably a steering box on a car would probably do work just fine for this application, but um, yeah. The way it turns right now, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, it's not, uh, it's not really what I wanted, but I'll show you. Anyways, to turn, for it to turn right, I mean, left, I mean, you gotta turn it right. And for it to turn, uh, turn, uh, uh right, you gotta turn it left. <laughs> exact opposite. It doesn't turn as sharp on that side. So, but, at least it turns now. Um, probably, uh, as, as time goes by, I'm going to have to change this all here again and put a, like I said, a hydraulic valve in here and have two cylinders. You turn it this way, it turns, so, but this is old school and, uh, you know, it's just, it has to do with this uh, steering apparatus that came out of the lawn tractor. It's just the way it's, uh, set up, um. If I had set it up a different different way where the linkage linkage was underneath, it probably would have steered properly. But of course, I could put the seat on the back here and put a U joint in here, have the steering wheel back here, and then uh, it worked that way too. But uh, this is the way it's going to work. So it's just a project, something to piss around with. So, anyways, it's alright. But there's room for improvement on the steering. So. Next is going to be uh, building 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 the rear end for this one here. Taking the old uh, rotor tail that I'm actually going in for the night actually. But uh, I know it's dark here because the light blue, cheap. I bought these LED lights, and uh, I was grinding one day and it hit and I fucked up the whole damn thing. So I don't know. Those ones are pretty good. Anyways, maybe she have the guard on here or something. I don't know. So. Uh, here's the light on the camera, but here is the uh, other part of the rototiller, the little rear end here, sort of. So I'm going to build a flange here, and I've got a shaft over here. Got a bearing and stuff in the, in the box there. And this will go in here. I'll build a flange for it, this will stick out, and then we'll have, have to get a U-joint uh, for this machine here. So we'll have to see, um, probably get a couple U-joints, we'll see how, th how that goes, but this is next, the power for the uh, rear end. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, so, um, when the, uh, like the power will go through the hole through here, right, you have, you have the front drive motor, well, send the power right through the whole transmission and drive the rear end and when I want to uh, put it in four, into four-wheel drive click this lever forward and the tires go four-wheel drive so this that's four-wheel drive I already had this thing spinning and the front wheels move so All the way back is uh, neutral. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a fairly farty thing. I would probably be end up be mostly using it in uh, with, with the transmission back there. And if it gets in a pinch, to so get front wheel drive and you get your four wheel drive and you get out of your, and you have to be really careful because 
it's thing of four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, and you're not being careful, you basically run this down either way. The guy could either run it, there's something flashing in there, glass, run it with the front-wheel drive only, or a rear-wheel drive only, or a four-wheel drive, but then you need to click it, uh, shift the lever into neutral, so you don't hurt yourself because it'll, it'll just keep on going. <laughs> it doesn't stop in this one here. So it's kind of a, it's a bit of a, bit of a fiddly farty thing to be to work, right? Um, I had to set up the steering because I had this uh, pivot pin in here, and uh, I had set it up so it, I thought maybe this would pivot with this here and get the opposite direction moving, but it didn't work, so I had to make a solid plate here, and this it turns it. We try to make it go the opposite direction, but it didn't do it. So it is what it is. Anyways, that's the way it is for now. But I said like a later date when we get more money, we're going to have to um, go the hydraulic valve in there. Cause we're not hydraulics anyway, right? So just the way she is, man. We'll figure something out.